This is Doug Maitland. Uh, we're on the Value Finding Appraisal Report Module Series, and this is Module 2, where we'll talk about owner accompaniment. What is owner accompaniment? It's a requirement of appraisers who prepare appraisals for highway projects that have any highway trust funds or state funds in the project to invite the property owner or the owner's representative to accompany the appraiser when the appraiser inspects the property. Key points to remember, if there's an appraisal, there must be owner accompaniment. And that accompaniment will occur during the appraiser's inspection of the property and the appraiser must invite the property owner to accompany the appraiser during that inspection. Owner accompaniment is a legal requirement. The requirement is mandatory if there are highway trust funds, also known as Title 23 funds, anywhere in the highway project. And from 49 CFR, this is the requirement. It's under 49 CFR 24.102 under basic acquisition policies, and the regulation is, before the initiation of negotiations, the real property to be acquired shall be appraised and the owner or the owner's designated representative shall be given an opportunity to accompany the appraiser during the appraiser's inspection of the property. That's a federal regulation. There's also a requirement that's mandatory for any ODOT projects, and it's from Ohio Administrative Code 5501-2-506. And the regulation is identical to 49 CFR 24.102. ODOT procedure for owner accompaniment is 4000.07 of the Real Estate Manual, and it is on a project, the appraiser shall extend an invitation to the owner or the owner's designated representative to accompany the appraiser during the appraiser's inspection of the property. The right of accompaniment does not extend to waiver valuations. The appraiser is required to make reasonable accommodations to the owner or the owner's representative that would allow accompaniment. Moving on to the next page, the appraiser shall document the extent of accompaniment, that at a minimum shall include the date invitation to accompany was made, how the offer of accompaniment was made by phone, letter, or personal visit, the owner's response to the invitation, the date of the inspection, the names of people present during the inspection, and their relationship to the owner. If there was no accompaniment, you need to state how the right of accompaniment was extended to the owner the number of times the appraiser attempted to contact the owner. The appraiser may voluntarily use Form RE91, which is the owner verification of property inspection, to document if the owner did accompany the appraiser. The appraiser is required to make at least three reasonable documentable attempts for owner contact. The appraiser may then contact the district explaining that contact cannot be made. The district official may then direct the appraiser to proceed and create the appraisal without owner accompaniment. That will be a district decision, not an appraiser decision. The purpose of owner accompaniment is to ensure that the owner has the opportunity to advise the appraiser of any unique features of the property which may have a bearing in the valuation of the property and to indicate elements of the property which might not be obvious to the appraiser. This is the certificate of appraisal that accompanies any value finding appraisal report. Items one and two on the certificate deal with owner accompaniment. So they require for the date the appraiser inspected the property, when the owner did accompany the appraiser, the appraiser will then need to describe how the invitation was made, will need to state the date, the invitation was made. We'll need to describe the owner's response to the invitation. They'll need to state who was present during the inspection. And if the owner did not accompany the appraiser, the appraiser will need to state how the right of accompaniment was extended, state the number of times the appraiser attempted to contact the owner, and state if there was district approval obtained to complete the appraisal without accompaniment. 
Here's what the RE91 owner inspection form looks like. And if it's used, there is no procedure describing this form. And if the appraiser does use this form, they'll have the owner initial in one of those three boxes. Either the owner did accompany the appraiser, the owner did not wish to accompany the appraiser, or I've requested the person identified below to accompany the appraiser. It's now time for a knowledge check.